Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. We're just going to go ahead and dive in. We're opening up Keynote and you want to do a new document and click wide at the top. And I just do the white one. Um, you're going to delete the presets anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And then here you see me deleting the titles. Then you want to go to Safari and figure out what's your background um, of your outro you want it to be. So I just typed in wallpaper, marble wallpaper, and I chose this one. And so to get the full size of the photo, you want to right click on it and put open image in new tab and then open it and then just copy the image from there. Go back over to Keynote and paste it. Then you want to resize this wallpaper so it covers the entire um, slide and then reposition it as desired. And then I'm doing this similar to my current outro, um, but this is just a still outro. So if y'all want a tutorial on like the one that I currently have, y'all let me know. So here I'm just selecting a photo. This is like my new little logo that I created. And I'll be putting this on the left side of the screen and just resizing it until I get it the size that I want it. Now, I'm also gonna do a ring around this so I just put the circle and then you want to resize it and do no color fill so that'll make it like an empty circle and then for the border you want to put line so it creates you know the shape of the circle and then you can change the line types and I like the ones that look like pin strokes and stuff like that and then you can change the color and I'm just using the eyedropper to select like one of the colors out of the marble wallpaper um, later on I'll change this to the darker color in the marble um, so it's more prominent but then you can go over to arrange and you can go to size and change click the constrain um, little box right there so it's a perfect circle and then you can just change the size from there so I just want to make it a little bit smaller and tighter and then here I'm changing the line style and the color and so you can do just the outline portion if you're gonna have your um, you know subscribe button in your in screen annotation so that's another option um, and then here I just put like a little rectangle up at the top so it can be like a title bar for my have you seen my latest video where you can insert a um, in screen video at the end and here I'm just changing the font and I'll do the same thing as far as like getting the colors I'll use the eyedropper um, to change the colors so here I'm just putting it in all caps just because I thought it looked better and then I'm changing the color of this rectangle I'm gonna do this in the same brown color as the outline and just using the eyedropper again and then I'm gonna change the words to the light peach color in the marble background. Again guys, this is super simple. Um, Keynote comes free on your MacBook if you have a MacBook. If you don't, you can also use um, like PowerPoint. It's different and more um, basic options with Microsoft PowerPoint, but those are your options if you're trying to make it work for your channel and then I'm just you know putting that in the title bar sizing it out how I want it um, and yeah this is again this is the still version so if you just want like this to be at the end of your video and then have like the little in screen annotations come over it um, here I'm copying and pasting the little title bar so I can put it under the picture and this will serve as like a Instagram handle. I couldn't decide what I wanted to put. Um, so I just want to put in Slimmer Shay. So make sure y'all follow me on Instagram at Slimmer Shay. And then here I'm taking a screenshot. So on your MacBook, you do Command Shift 4 and then you drag the arrow so you can um, screenshot it. And this allows you to have a um, smaller size instead of just saving it as a um, picture. So here I'm in Final Cut Pro and I just uploaded the picture the screenshot will come up on your uh, desktop and here I just put it at the end of the video clip and just to make it like flow a little bit smoother I'm doing a little transition I just did cross dissolve you can do any preset transition um, just to make it like flow 
just like that bada boom bada bang then you want to upload it to YouTube I do this so I don't have to save it to like my hard drive and then upload it to YouTube I just upload it to YouTube and then when you get in the video manager you want to click in screens and annotations and you can use the template which I used to use but now I just put one video at the end so you do add element and if you do best for viewer it's in the preview the box is going to stay there the entire time um, and your little pop-up has to be it can't be no less than five seconds long it has to be five seconds or longer so I just like time it out in the preview so I know where it goes and then it allows you to align it um, vertically which is like great and then I, I played it but I realized that you guys would be able to see what it really looks like so if I choose an actual video um, then when I do the playback you can see how it'll pop up on the screen so it'll look like this and then a nice little yes so that's how you do these still outros so I'm just playing mine right now so you guys can see and the little video is going to pop up on the screen. Thank you guys for watching this video. Give it a huge thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. And never forget at the end of the day, without regrets, love yourself and be you, Tiffle. Bye guys.